The Sukhoi Su-27 has set more records than any other aircraft, initially setting 70 and still holding on to around 50 of them today. It is renowned for its distinct Cobra maneuver. This aerobatic air superiority fighter was designed by Sukhoi and is in use by several nations worldwide. Today, we will discuss what NATO calls the flanker. We will go over its development, its different iterations that keep it relevant, and its importance impressive service record. So, let's get started. The Su-27's design process started in the late 1960s, when the Soviet Union became aware of the development of the F-15, a new high-performance aircraft being built by the United States. In response to this, the Soviet Air Force initiated a program to develop a fighter of similar capabilities, and Sukhoi was given the task of designing this new aircraft. The early design stages were marked by a competition between Sukhoi and its fellow design bureau, Mikoyan. Sukhoi's initial design, dubbed T-10, was a large aircraft with a high wing loading. It was equipped with two turbofan engines, a high-mounted wing, and three landing gear units. The wings were given substantial amount of downward angle to improve the aircraft's high-speed stability. However, the first prototype T-10 model had serious problems, particularly regarding its handling characteristics and engine reliability. After a substantial redesign, the aircraft evolved into the T-10S, which is closer to the Su-27 we know today. The resulting design had many innovative features. The Su-27 is a twin-engine aircraft equipped with Saturn AL-31 engines, enabling it to fly at a max speed of 2,500 kilometers an hour. It has an impressive range of just over 3,500 kilometers. The plane also features an integrated aerodynamic configuration which ensures low longitudinal stability and high maneuverability. The aircraft design includes a unique feature, a control system that makes it possible to recover from spins automatically which provides it an edge in close combat situations. Its high thrust to weight ratio and advanced aerodynamic design also allow it to perform maneuvers like the Cobra and the tail slide, which were once considered impossible for jet aircraft. The Su-27 is armed with a 30mm GSH-30-1 cannon, along with a variety of other weapons that can be attached to its hardpoints, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, rockets, and bombs. After the design phase concluded, production of the Su-27 started in the early 1980s. The aircraft was initially manufactured by the Komsomolsk on Amur Aircraft Production Association and the Irkutska Aviation Plant. The production process for each Su-27 involves a number of stages, including the manufacture of the main components such as the wings, fuselage, and tail, the installation of the engines, and the fitting of the avionics and weapon systems. About 30% of the airframe and other parts are made from titanium. Over the years, various modifications and improvements have been made to the base Su-27 model, resulting in different versions of the aircraft. Here are some of the notable Su-27 variants. First, the Su-27P. It is the initial production single-seat air defense fighter version without air-to-ground capabilities. The Su-27S added the ability to carry air-to-ground weapons. The 27SK is the export version of this. Next, we have the Su-27UB, a combat-capable two-seat training version. It is basically the trainer model but retains full combat capability. The Su-27PU, or known as the Su-30, is a two-seat command fighter version for air defense squadrons. The Su-27K, or Su-33, is a carrier-based air superiority fighter variant with canards and folding wings, designed for use on aircraft carriers. The Su-27M, also known as the Su-35, is a highly upgraded single-seat version meant for the export market. It includes improved avionics, thrust vectoring engines, and canards. The Chinese also have several Su-27 versions that were built under license or are based on the Su-27 design, including the Xinyang J-11, 
J15 and J16. As for the production numbers, exact figures might vary slightly from source to source due to classification of various models and modifications. However, by September 2021, when production ceased, if you count all versions of the aircraft, including those produced in China, the total number of aircraft built based on the Su-27 design is well over 2,000. The Sukhoi Su-27 and its various derivatives have been in active service for more than 40 years, and they have been used in several conflicts around the world. Let's take a look at its service record. One of the most famous incidents involving the Su-27 took place during the ethiopian eritrean conflict in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Ethiopia purchased a number of Su-27s during the war, and these planes were used to establish air superiority over the contested regions. The most notable aerial engagement occurred on February 26, 1999. An Ethiopian Su-27 piloted by Major Tashome Tankalu engaged two Eritrean MiG-29s. In the ensuing dogfight, Tankalu managed to shoot down both MiG-29s, making him the first confirmed Su-27 pilot to shoot down an enemy aircraft in aerial combat. The Su-27 also saw combat during the brief Russo-Georgian War over South Ossetia in 2008. Russian Su-27s were used for both air superiority missions and ground attacks during the five-day conflict. The exact role of the Su-27s in this conflict is somewhat obstructed by the fog of war, but they undoubtedly contributed to Russia's air superiority during the conflict. Russian Su-27s have been involved in the Syrian civil war since 2015, when Russia initiated a military intervention in the conflict in support of the Syrian government. These aircraft have primarily been used in air superiority roles, providing cover for other Russian and Syrian aircraft conducting ground attack missions. Although the Su-27s have not faced significant opposition from other fighter aircraft in this conflict, their presence has been a significant factor in the Syrian government's ability to conduct aerial operations. The Su-27 has also seen service during the Russian-Ukraine war. The Ukrainian Air Force, which inherited a number of Su-27s following the breakup of the Soviet Union, has used these aircraft in a defensive role since the conflict with Russia and Russian-backed separatists began in 2014. Well, that just about concludes the Su-27, but if you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to be informed when I upload a new video. Anyways, take it easy.